Alright, his mega hair. So I'm making a quick video for uh, for my Suron Light B here. Uh, my Suron Light, Light B is uh, registered as a moped, so you can see there it's got a license plate on the back. So, um, so I was kind of unclear on like what kind of laws there are riding the moped, uh, like a motorized bicycle or moped is what is what they call it um, in uh, in California. And so I kind of I kind of figured it all out. So. His Mega rides motorcycles and and bicycles, but nothing in between. So the moped is like kind of something like in between. It's a like 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 the like its name suggests. It is a motorized bicycle. It's a basically it's a bicycle with a motor on it. So for uh, in the Saron's case, it's a uh, oh okay. Well, we can go through this. We'll go through this list right here. So um, so there's a there's actually two kind of classes that the uh, the Suron Light B falls under, um, and you you have you to have to kind of like pick one when you, and one of them is a lot more like has a lot more uh, requirements and stuff. So we'll go over that. Uh. So here on, uh, I got this this uh, this little uh, pamphlet here from uh, People for Bikes. So you can go to peopleforbikes.org and they'll have this uh, they have this little thing about um, California bike laws. So. I have has a very nice little table here. So, so basically, I'm not going to go over the other. There, there's so there's like three classes of electric bikes. There's classes one, two, three. Um, and yeah, we can go over them real quick. Uh, so class one is it has a motor that you, when you pedal it provides power, and then uh, it ceases to provide assistance over 20 miles per hour. And then class two is a bicycle equipped with a throttle actuated motor. Um, I built an e-bike with one of those. It had like a little thumb throw. Ah, oh, here we go. I got an example of that. So it could, you could have like a like a like a paddle throttle on a quad, but uh, so on my razor scooter here, it's got a half twist throttle. So that that's what they're talking about. Uh, a throttle active actuated um, a throttle actuator or something. Uh, it's a it's a throttle that's independent of the pedals. So you can give it power without pedaling. So that's that's this is an example of that. Sort of, kind of. Um, I built an e-bike that was that had this setup, and I like it. So, but, but it's a half twist throttle, uh, so you can give power. So you can give power when uh, when you're uh, when you're not pedaling, um, and it says you can. It'll provide assistance up to 20 miles per hour. So they're all speed limited. And then the class three e-bike uh, is what the Suron Light B falls under. Um, it's a bicycle equipped with a motor that provides assistance only when the rider is pedaling and that ceases to provide assistance. Well, it would still say you have to have pedals. Um, but, uh, yeah, so so technically, the it, if you have the pedal kit, then then your, your Suron Light B is a, um, a Class 3 e-bike, basically. And it, it, uh, it provides assistance up to 28 miles per hour. So there you go. Um, as a, only when the rider is pedaling and it ceases to provide assistance. Oh, it's kind of weird. Okay, so, so, uh, class one, class one and class two, class two is the most different one. Class, a class two e-bike has a, a separate throttle. It can only go, so class two is just basically a class one where you, you don't have, you don't have to pedal to, to give the the bike gives you power, you know, you have you use a throttle. But class three, it says equipped with a motor that provides assistance only when the rider is pedaling. So there's no why isn't there like a class four? So like so you can have the throttle and then you can go up to 28 miles per hour. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So class one and two speed limits are 20 miles per hour um, for for when it gives you power. Um, if you can pedal faster than 20 miles per hour, I suppose pose it's okay I don't know because you're not you're you're using your human power so um, and then um, class three you're uh, uh, you can go up to 28 miles per hour but you have to have a pedal assist so it's no no actuated throttle throttle actuated motor so why isn't there uh, what I'm wondering is why isn't there a class four where you can have a throttle actuated motor with a speed limit of 28 miles per hour because uh, I don't know yeah, these bikes are supposedly supposed to be governed, and uh, and technically, the uh, the Suron in the low power mode is uh, 
falls under those categories. It can really only go 25 miles per hour. Or no, it can go 30 miles an hour. Mine only goes 25 in low power, but but a, but a stock Cirrus Light B will go supposedly 30 miles an hour in the thing. So so that would put us around class three, but we don't have the pedals is the problem. Um, we don't have the pedals and it's throttle actuated. So actually, technically the Cirrus doesn't even, by, by law, the Cirrus does not fall under any of those categories <laughs> because there's no because there's no throttle uh, the pedals do not provide electrical assistance the pedals are just there for show on the um on the Sauron. Um i mean you can actually use them but but like it doesn't it doesn't uh it's not like a pedal assisted uh e-bike uh because you still have the throttle well, you have a twist throttle so so technically the Sauron doesn't really fall under any of those categories that's why they're oh that's why they're very uh very clear on the on luna cycles website that this is a off-road only used motorcycle it's not really street legal but people like ride it on the street like an e-bike so um which is i think is okay um so it says e-bikes are not subject to uh registration licensing or insurance so that's where that's where we're getting into the uh, the moped laws so um so here we have a nice little table this is a great table right here look at this See if I can get some better lighting. There you go. So, uh, so here we got bicycle in class one, two, and three, and it tells you like where you can you can ride them. And then uh, down here we got moped also. So, so moped is uh, it's, it doesn't really cover it on this sheet, but it's a motorized bicycle um, by law. I, I kind of went over it in another video, but I'm just gonna tell you right now. It's by, by law, it's a a motorized uh, bicycle. It's a bicycle with a motor on it. And um, it can it can propel you up to 30 miles an hour, and then uh, what's the word uh, uh, for for ones that powered by a gasoline engine, you uh, you can go oh you would have to have pedals you have to have pedals on those ones for an electric uh, electric powered uh, moped you do not need uh, pedals so and you it could go 30 miles an hour so um, yeah so that would be the that would that's probably the best definition the the uh, the Sauron Light V fits under as a moped. Like no matter what, no matter what, <laughs> uh, even though you can put in high power mode and go way faster than 30 miles an hour, um, yeah. So that's that's the dealie. Um, it technically it falls under a moped. So I don't know why they just sell it as a moped. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So. So yeah, there you go. It falls under the moped class. So, so in the moped, um, I, so I, I was making this video because I wasn't clear where like how how to operate a moped. So, um, it's pretty much the same as a bicycle. Um, I you can ride it on the street up to speeds of like 25, 30 miles an hour, and then I think when you get to like speed limits over 30 miles an hour. You have to uh, you have to get in the bike lane. That's what you have to do. I think you can. I think regardless, you could ride in the bike lane. So, so here, uh, I I thought before that you could not ride in the bike lane, but but you can, um, in California. So here we got moped, and it says pedal operated. No, you you don't have to have pedals on the moped, but you do if you're if it's gasoline powered. Uh, maximum motor assisted speed. There is no motor assist because it, you don't have the pedals. Don't have a sensor on it and stuff. Um, I suppose you could rig something like that up, uh, and then oh, so there's, these are just uh, these are some of the the qual um, requirements requirements that you need. Um, so for let's we'll go over class three e-bike and uh, and moped. So also for the, the vehicle's top speed is for a class three e-bike is 28 miles an hour. So it's still pretty fast. Um, uh, so you got to be 16 years or older. To operate a class 3 e-bike and a moped, you do not need a driver's license to operate a class 3 e-bike or a license plate. A moped, however, you do need a driver's license. Uh, I think you need a class M, I think an M2, yeah. Yeah, you need an M2 at least. That's like a scooter license. Um, I have M1, so. Uh, and then you do need a license plate, so that's why we have the plate on there. You have to go register your your bike and that means you have to have insurance for it so i have insurance for this so it's just, it's a much more pain in the ass to operate this thing as a moped um, you can probably get by saying like hey it's a class 3 e-bike and not have to worry about all this stuff plus you need to wear a a dot approved helmet if you're uh, using it as a moped uh and if you're using it as a class 3 e-bike 
uh, yeah, supposed class three e-bike, you need to wear a bicycle helmet, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, so it doesn't say what kind of helmet though. Um, I'll see if it says, shows you what laws are to reference here. It's a really nice sheet. Go ch uh, I would go download. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, so here is bikeway access. So here's a really important one. This is the oper. We're getting to the operating portion here. So. So pretty much you can operate the moped basically the same as a class three e-bike. So it says no, yes, yes, no. So um, class one bike path, no, um, you cannot operate in there. Class two bike lane, yes. So I think I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. I will put subtitles below what these different class uh, bike lanes are, but I think a bike path is like a bike trail or something. That's what I'm thinking. Um, like a like a mountain bike trail or something. They don't want you to ride your your super powerful e-bike on those. <laughs> um, however, you can ride a class two and one there. Um, and then a class a, cl uh, a class two bike lane, you can ride your moped or a class three bike. So so we yes, we can so you can ride it in a bike lane. I think a class two bike lane, yeah, I'll put a subtitle what each of them are, but you can but these you can operate your, your bike in a bike lane. Um, and then there's a class four protected lane that's a good question what are all the what is the protected lane see this these are not very clear uh where you can operate all these. right here i'm putting this quick clip in uh in, in the middle of the video here just to give you like some clarification on uh on a bike way classification so here on the interwebs using the power of google search engine i found the caltrans caltrans here has uh, released this. Uh, I will put a link for the uh, for this uh, this document on uh, on the description below if you guys want to want to download it. But here it tells you it, it tells you some handy things about you know riding bicycles and stuff like that. Um, in California, I guess this is a whole California statewide thing where like all these green lanes are bicycle lanes now. And like in San Jose, I can tell like all the bike lanes have changed quite a bit in the last couple of years. So and so on the second page here is what we're interested in. Uh, so, so I was unclear on what what a bike paths and and you know bike routes and stuff are. So here we're I'm gonna go quickly over them uh, just just to kind of like so, to give you some information that I I was unclear of in the last last video clip, and then we'll we'll go back straight to the video about riding in the bike lanes and everything. So, so this is a class one bike path, I believe the bike path. Uh, you cannot ride the moped on a bike path here. So, so this is a bike path. It's a cl it's also known as a class one bikeway, uh, and it, hits, it says here class one bikeways, also known as bike paths or shared use paths, are facilities with exclusive right of way for bicyclists and pedestrians. So it's a shared kind of walkway, a corridor. If you you know, uh, it's a corridor that that pedestrians and bicyclists can use. I, and I, 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 one that I know of is on a, a Guadalupe Park in San Jose. So I cannot ride my moped there, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, so a bike path is, sep is basically, it's a separate, um, it's a separate road that's only for uh, bicyclists and pedestrians. And you cannot ride mopeds on it according to the, the that chart. So, so that's a no-go right there. Um, and then there's a let's go on the class 2 bike lane or a bikeway um, it's a bike lane and a buffered bike lane so these are the two kind of bike these are probably the two most common bike lanes you'll see in California um, you got the street here and then there's a the bike there's a bike lane dedicated for bicycles and it goes with the traffic I think I think there are ones that go uh, I don't know I'm not so sure um, but anyway uh so the, this is what a class two bike lane is. Class two bikeways are bike lanes established along streets and are defined by pavement strapping and signage to delineate a portion of the road for bicycle travel. Bike lanes are one-way facilities typically striped adjacent to da 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 da. Contraflow bicycles can be provided on one-way streets. Uh, oh, so that means uh, on a one-way street you can have a two-way um, bicycle lane. I, I haven't really seen any of those. Uh, and then there's something called a buffered bike lane. That's another pretty common one you'll see now. Pretty recent. It's a pretty recent one. Um, uh, we didn't see these until like a couple years ago. But basically, it's a bike lane um, 
that has these, you know, it says they're called chevrons or diagonal markings um, that give you, uh, it, it's a, it gives you more space for bicyclists. So, um, and we, I don't think we really need that, but it's nice. <laughs> it's nice that there's more space and you can, and a, and a moped, the, the Suron moped can travel on these roads. So, um, that's good. So we can totally ride on those lanes. Um, it keeps, you know, it keeps us out of the traffic and stuff. It's good. And then we have class three, uh, bikeway. It's a bike route, um, class, class three bikeways or bike routes des designate a preferred route for bicyclists on streets shared with motorists, not severed, not served by dedicated bikeway. Okay. So that's basically, it's pretty much everything else. All the other streets, um, besides the freeway are like this, um, uh, within the last couple of years, I've seen them them painting these uh, these signs on the ground. It has a bicycle with like chevrons on it, and, and it's pointing the way. It and it, and you'll see signs on the side of the road that say uh, uh, bicycles may may use uh, full use of the road or something, or uh, bicycles may f may fully use the road. So that means you can sh um, you share the lane with the with the car. Basically, you're splitting lanes with with automobiles. Uh, I would still stay to the right <laughs> if I were you. Uh, yeah, my suggestion, if you go on these, you stay on the right. So that way, if somebody needs to pass you, they can go around you. Um, it's kind of annoying to you know, hold up traffic and stuff. Um, and I believe uh, and I believe uh, the moped can travel on these too. Uh, it's pretty much, it's just a normal street, basically. Uh, and then there's a separated bikeway cycle track. This is the Class 4. I don't think... Uh, I don't think uh, mopeds can go down these, but uh, I think it's so. Basically, a class four separated bikeway is often referred to as a cycle track or protected lane. Uh, is for exclusive use of bicycles, physical, physically separated from motor traffic with vertical with a vertical feature. Okay, these separation may include, but not limited to, grade separation flexible posts inflexible okay so um yeah near my house there's one of these uh well, i guess i can't ride in those then it's kind of it's not cool <laughs> but uh but yeah um it's basically it's a bike lane that has a barrier of some sort so these like cones are one uh, in san jose we have one with these little plastic posts sticking out of the ground so people don't uh, go into it so it's basically it's basically like a class two bike lane yeah, it's basically like a class or a buffered bike lane. It's like a buffered bike bike lane, but there's a barrier on it to keep cars from coming in. Um, you can see, see, there's like cones here. Um, I think the cars can go. I think the cars can go in and out of these lanes. The cars cannot do that on these. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they got all these new freaking road laws and stuff now. So it's good. It's good to look, to do some research into this stuff. Uh, I was riding bicycles way back, and they, we didn't have any of this stuff. So it's basically you stay on the right, or you go in the bike lane. You know, <laughs> so that's all. Those are only the stuff I know. So, so that's a class four bike lane is separated from the road with a barrier. Basically, um, you cannot ride the moped in those, unfortunately. Um, but um, yeah. So well, all I'm wor really worried about is like if I if really I'm only supposed to be going like. 30 something miles an hour in the bike lane then uh then why can uh, why uh I, I i don't want to ride on the street you know uh, like in the main streetway if it's like 40 miles an hour or something i don't want cars to be passing me like left and right it's kind of scary so yeah so there you go those are your those are the four uh, bike classifications i wanted to add that clip in there so so you guys could see uh um to, so, so you guys knew what these different bike lanes are, um, basically. But uh, just a regular bike lane, mopeds can can surround so moped could go in there. Um, basically, what was it? It was uh, these one, class three, and class two. You're good to go on the moped. Um, class one and class four, you can't. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely not the bike way. <laughs> don't, don't don't get caught in the bikeway. This one, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. It says you can't do it, but I don't see why not. You know, um, just slow down. You know, like like or be mindful of other bicycle traffic. Where where Hades Omega lives, there's really not that much bicycle traffic. Um, there's you know there's a, a fair amount of bicyclists in San Jose, but 
not it's not like we're in China or something, you know. <laughs> so if you get what I mean, so so yeah, those that was a that's a little uh, clarification on that, and you can like I said, you can get this document from Caltrans. They're the ones that are making all the roads and stuff in San Jose. So um, and I'll put the link of this on the bottom of this. Here. Okay, so uh, I'll now we're gonna go back to uh, the previous clip about riding the the moped in bike lanes and stuff okay so and then i also did find this this vehicle code so i'm going to print this out i printed this out and i'm going to keep it in my wallet just in case i get pulled over by the police uh, uh so here this is a vehicle code 21209 this is like the law that pertains to bicycle lanes in california um, no person shall drive a motor vehicle in a bicycle lane established on a roadway pursuant to section 21207 except as follows so uh if you're going to park if you're gonna park near the, if you're gonna park next to a bike lane or something, you can cross it. Um, um, if you're gonna enter or leave a roadway, um, that's another one. That's like if you're gonna go like through the curb or something to, into like a driveway. Um, and then three is to prepare for a turn within a distance of 200 feet. So that's when it, like it starts getting uh, dotted, and then uh, like that means like anybody can go in there. Uh, provide you know mow down any bicycles that are in the bike lane. <laughs> And then, uh, and then there's a uh, section Bravo. This section does not prohibit the use of motorized bicycle. Motorized bicycle, there it is. It's a moped in a bicycle lane pursuant to section 21207.5. At a speed no greater than is reasonable or prudent, having due regard for visibility, traffic conditions, and condition of roadway, surface of the bicycle lane, and a manner which does not endanger the safety of bicyclists. So there you go. So um, pretty much in a nutshell, it says that you can, it, you can, it does not prohibit, that means you can operate your motorized bicycle or moped in a bicycle lane uh, as long as you do so safely. So, so just don't like, you know, definitely don't go faster than 30 miles an hour. Um, if, if, there's, if there's extra traffic, if there's traffic, there's other bicyclists, you know, um, just slow down a little bit um, and then try to pass them safely. Um, you know that kind of stuff be courteous but uh but you can operate this in the bike lane so uh, according to that law right there uh, so i was unclear on that before because i was a little scared uh, operating this because <laughs> uh supposedly it can only go 30 miles an hour so 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 that so that leads me to the 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 speed limits you should adhere to in the bike lane um i would say go no faster you you definitely should not go faster than 30 miles per hour because that's how fast the top speed is for uh, a moped uh, even though the surround light beacon go faster than that if you put it in high power mode uh, so i would just stick it in low power mode if you have a switch and then just you know ride as fast as you can in the um in the bike lane and just just try to be safe don't don't do any dumb stuff in the bike lane <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you see, you can you can operate your moped in the bike lane. So I I was unclear on that because I was kind of uh, I was kind of scared to operate it uh, on the streets because uh, at over 30 miles an hour, I was like, well, I thought you couldn't use the bike lane. So the bike lane is there, so like you know, you can you can ride ride safely on the street where cars can go fat way faster than than 30 miles an hour. Um, so so yeah. Um, if my, my suggestion is if you if there's if you're driving in a lane that's like 30 or or more like let's say 35 35 or more um i would get in the bike lane because it's it's you're just gonna have cars passing you and then you're gonna be holding up traffic and stuff so um this bike can only go 30 36 miles an hour i, I know that and even in high power mode because it's got that monster sprocket on it so so, uh, so yeah, either way, you know, but I've been riding it on the street like a motorcycle. So, <laughs> um, but you could do that too. Um, yeah, up to like 30, 35 miles an hour. I would say, yeah, yeah, go for it, man. Just ride it on the street like a, like a scooter or something, you know, but, uh, but yeah, after, um, after, I, after 35 miles an hour, you probably want to get in the bike lane. It's just the cars will just be zooming past you and stuff. It's like, and, uh, and like, you definitely should not go on the freeway. You see all those signs on the freeway that say like, uh, motorized bicycles prohibited if it says that if it says that anywhere if it, if you go onto a, a bike lane and it says motorized blah 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 prohibited don't don't ride in it <laughs> they're, they're talking about you so um so so those are just some some kind of laws um 
I wanted to go over uh, for riding e-bikes uh, or or mopeds, uh, specifically the Soron Light B, uh, registered as a moped. Uh, I was unclear about that. Uh, I didn't know if you could ride in the bike lane, but you can ride in the bike lane. It is legal to ride in the bike lane. So, so there you go. That is a that is a, all the. That's all the knowledge that uh, Hades Omega knows about the operating the Suron Light B as a moped in California. I impart that knowledge to you. So, 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 uh, so go for it. You ride in that bike lane. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> so, yeah. go.